Selling boats faster. Hello, I'm Suzanne from Boatshed Medway. Today I'm having a look at a lovely Sea Line S28 Bolero. Very pretty boat. As you have a look, we're going to have a look at the um, cockpit first. You can see the beautiful table here. On the back of the cockpit, this actually folds down, as you'll see from the still shots, and forms a nice lounger. There's pillows currently located in the um, aft cabin. On the port side, you can see a nice lounger, chaise long style, very comfortable. Here we have a wet bar with storage underneath. There we have a manual bilge pump and the door to the cockpit. We have a bathing platform on the back. There's also hot and cold water for the shower. Teak floors. The upholstery does look to be in, in very good nick. There's a speaker here as well and we've got lights in the arch. Moving forward to the helm position. Lovely seat. You can have a companion sat down with you if you so wish. And we'll have a quick look at the navigational um, equipment. A jolly decent size Garmin GPS. And Auto Helm depth speed log. And your SD six thousand auto helm. Here's the helm and the ship's wheel. See the Morse controls. And here we have the bow thruster controls. And obviously the dashboard with your various dials. Ship's compass as well. Nice area for your proper paper charts. As we look back, you can see what a lovely sociable space this is. Very, very pretty boat. Now we're going to have a look at the outside of this Sea Line S28 Bolero. Um, she's got quite good sized side decks given the size of the actual boat and they've got a non-slip surface as well. Um, there's good handrails all around so you feel quite safe when you're walking around the boat. Here we have a look at the coach roof. You'll see the two hatches which make the main saloon a very light and bright area. And as we go around you'll see from the still shots that there is a an electric windlass and here is the large anchor locker. We've got our cleats forward and to starboard port. The other thing I do like, again given the size of the boat you don't always find these on here, um, there's actually some midship cleats as well. Unfortunately it's a really murky day at the moment but um, quite balmy but uh, it would be nice to have a blue sky as a backdrop for the shots. Turning around looking back. And 
the owner's about to take the boat out for a little trip so he's actually put his canopy covers back so I can get some good shots of her underway and we can have a quick nose at the cockpit from the coach roof position and you'll see it's a very good size and nicely proportioned. Now we're going to have a look at the interior of this sea line. I must say I'm really struck by how large this saloon area is which obviously converts down to a very generous double berth as well. There's some lovely wood veneer and you've got windows all around which open and obviously allow lighting. Furthermore we've got two hatches one of which has got the cover off at the moment and the other one has got its cover on. Plenty of storage space. I think that's a Victron, a Victron Energy battery charger there, the inverter. Having a look around here, you can imagine spending a nice evening on board. Very bright and airy and very comfortable space. You don't feel at all hemmed in. Now let's have a look at the all-important galley which is uh, located just down the steps on the starboard side. You'll see from the still shots there's a fridge, a cooker, which is just, the hob is discreetly hidden. It's a two burner hob. Plenty of storage space above and below. socket there, a carbon monoxide alarm detector there and here's the electrics panel to above we've got a radio and the speakers go out to the cockpit also I have to double check with the owner it's going to be left but there's a place for your television here Furthermore, there's more storage just under the flooring here. There's a very large locker, as you can see. On the port side, we have a decent sized heads. Note the heads is accessible via the aft cabin as well. We have a sea toilet with a cover for when you're having a shower. Wash hand basin with shower attachment cupboard below and cupboards for your toiletries here and a window which opens. Now we're going to have a look in the aft cabin. You'll see from the still shots it really is a decent sized double. It's got plenty of lights, sorry, and windows and it really is comfortable. A lovely backrest there. As I say a really decent sized double you certainly won't feel like you're claustrophobic in here. It really is good. And it all looks in really good nick too. It doesn't smell at all mildewy, which I think is very important, certainly for us ladies. And you've got the doors I mentioned earlier, which gives you access to the heads. Just storage cupboard and a little unit there. All in all, a really well presented boat, I think, in lovely condition and uh, fantastic for a couple or a family. Right, we're going to have a look at this sea line on the water now. And this part of the Medway, unfortunately, we can't go that fast. So she's just having a little around so I can take some nice still shots of her. Off she goes. She can 
and steaming back towards me. Pretty looking boat. Now I'm going to take 